Hello and welcome everyone back to some more Terraria. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build something pretty cool, to say the least. And it's going to go ahead and involve some of the spiky ball traps here from the temple. So I got my little ruthless pick saw here from the actual golem. I'm going to go mine some of these things up real quick. Oh, don't activate it. I do have my wire cutters out, so I'm going to grab some of those wires. I'm going to need about roughly 14 of these spiky ball traps. And plus the wiring, and we'll go from there. Can I go ahead and get this plate? And then we'll go ahead and cut some wiring. So I'm finally going to actually go ahead and use the wire cutting here to get some of this wire and deactivate some of these traps. A viewer said something about this a while ago, but I keep having all my stuff in my safe and forgetting about it. That's a pretty much bad thing. Only trick is here to go ahead and fly up and grab some of these wire. And then we'll just go ahead to the rest of the temple, try to find a little bit more around here somewhere. Here we are at the meteor crash site. I need to go ahead and get about 200 pieces of this meteorite to actually make us work. I believe it's around 200 pieces. It could be something close. A little bit more, maybe a little bit less. The purpose is to go ahead and get these little meteor heads to spawn at the location I'm going to use. And we'll use them to get the actual keys. Now whatever biome I put these in should help generate the keys. These are probably the quickest things to kill, so... As you can see, this freaking pickaxe just murders all this meteorite. Not a problem here, to say the least at all. So, this won't take too much longer. How much more do I need? Alright, 55. I'll probably get about another 150 pieces. We'll go from there. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and try to farm for a key in the jungle biome. Because I'm looking forward to seeing that piranha gun in action. I cannot wait. The reason why I'm doing all this is because the keys are a 1 in 4,000 drop. I've stated that before somewhere in another video. I can't remember. And in order for that to happen, it could take up to several hours in order you forget a key. So I'm going to go ahead and build a method, which, by the way, I didn't make. So I, I wish I could take credit for it, but clearly this was not my method. And we'll build a little enclosure for you to be able to go ahead and automate the process and make it a whole lot simpler. And in the meantime, I'm trying to not be bothered by these freaking meteorite heads. Not that they're a real threat, but they're just very annoying to say the least. As you can see, I've already got my enclosure started. I got a little tiny gap between this area up top here because if you make it too big, it's not going to work. But if you make it too small, the balls will actually come through the little blocks and hit you right in the head. And that's not cool. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the bottom part down here like so. I picked up my old teleporter and set up. I don't need it anymore. Plantera is ridiculously easy with these knives, so it's not like it's anything impossible. Of course, we got these great tortoises that are just flying around for some Lord knows reason. I never figured it out, but whatever. Not going to question it. Not going to question it. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and get my tools out so I can go ahead and do some work. Put the wire cutters away, and would you get out of here, freaking Teenage Mutant Ninja pain in my ass? Oh my... Grab you back, holy crap. And of course you got the wildlife, I just don't want to quit. Seriously dudes, I'm in the middle of something busy. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up. I should have probably bought a switch for this. Either way, we'll, we'll make it work. So we'll just run you guys along here. Now, like I said, all you need is really 14 traps for this. And then after this we'll go ahead and place our meteorite and start summoning meteor heads. And they should give us the greatest chance to drop biome keys that'll help us farm. There we go, like so. Stop it, dude. Seriously. Now, generally, I probably would have used four doors for this. So, crap. And, of course, I barely have enough wood. Okay, I'm gonna have to fast forward and do this. As you can see, I put the finishing touches on the little area, so that's pretty much what it should look like. Wired up and everything. I'm going to go ahead and start putting Meteorite down and go ahead and get this set up. We'll start spawning in the Meteor Head soon. Okay, as long as this dude just wants to stay down here. Stay down here. So I was recently asked by a few viewers, what are you making? Are you playing a walkthrough? Is it a let's play? What is it? It seems like you're trying to do both. Yeah, it's pretty much what's got going on here. It feels like that not only do I enjoy playing this game, but I also like helping people. So, yeah, I kind of like doing two things at once, you know? I've done plenty of blind let's plays, and, you know, they're blind let's plays. But this, it's like, I feel like I can really help people do stuff. <laughs> That's the best way I can pretty much say it. The one thing I wish I could redo a little bit more of was getting into hard mode. 
the best thing I can recommend to people when you get to hard mode is start breaking demon altars, get the new ores, and just go from there. Get Cobalt, make yourself a Cobalt Drill, then go right to Mithril or Acrium, whatever the heck it's called. Make yourself an Acrium or Mithril Anvil, then make another Drill, and go right to Animantite and start making your armor. It's the only real ray that I know of because I tried doing the whole armor with cop Cobalt and everything. It gets tedious. Ridiculously tedious. Okay, well this is a good sign. It means that the meteor heads are coming soon. I miss the jungle music, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do here. I'm just basically making walls. So, we'll just go ahead and make another wall over here. I said, we're going to make another wall over here. There we go. And once we start getting them meteor heads in, we'll go from there. I don't see any meteor heads though. Never mind, here they come. Build it and they shall come. But yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about hard mode. You really just have to go right through. Why build all these armors and other stuff that's not really necessary when you just go right for max progression and you're good to go right from there. Now granted, when you get Adamantite, you're gonna start getting freaking Skeleton Tron Prime. He's gonna start randomly spawning. You're gonna get the twins randomly spawning. And all that good stuff. Destroyer's gonna start spawning. It's something you gotta be very careful on because you're gonna start bringing a lot of powerful enemies in. The best thing that can happen is once you start killing mobs, you'll start getting good loot. Granted, they're probably gonna kick your ass at first. There's no other safer way to say it. You're gonna get your ass kicked. But you learn to take it. You take it like a man, me hearty. And you go from there. Alright guys, to keep this thing going, all you do is you put a one second timer out. Know if you can see it in the background right there, but this is going to keep the spiky balls pouring on in, and should keep you protected. Like I said, the key's got a one in four thousand drop for all biomes, and it's going to take some time. At least with this, you can go ahead, set yourself up in here, get yourself dinner, go watch a movie. I don't know, do what you got to do. You know, you can go to the bathroom, take a shower, brush your teeth. Anyway, enough of all that nonsense. This is going to help me get the key a lot faster. Like I said, I wish it was mine. Clearly, it wasn't. I had saw this on Hero. Everyone who probably does Terraria has seen Hero's channel, great YouTuber, I learned a lot of stuff from him. This is where I've seen this whole idea from, so whether he created it or not, I have no idea. But I'm just doing this right after what he did. I've been here for a substantial amount of time, which means today's episode's gonna be late, go figure. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. Basically, if you wanna increase spawn rate, get yourself a water candle, or a hunter potion to increase the spawn, it's your best bet. But, when you've got that kind of drop rate, there's not much you can really do. It's gonna take some time, and even after I upload this, I don't know if I'm still gonna have a key. It's gonna take some, some quality time, I guess you could say. As if I hadn't spent quality time already, go figure. Oi! Anyway, if this video has helped you in any way, shape, or form, or even found it entertaining, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. As always, if you guys want to see me do some kind of video, I will do a video that you will find helpful to in the regards of Terraria. Like maybe... I don't know. I mean, there's all kind of great stuff. The Clintaminator was a really great video. People love that, so... I would like to do more videos like that to help you guys. Oh, so many coinage here. So many coinage. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. I will see what I can do for you again. Have yourselves a wonderful day. If not, then just simply fake it. It'll be over before you know it. And one day I will explain why I say that. I will explain it to everybody for a higher education of understanding. See you guys again next time.